I would like you to meet the holy martyrs of Compiègne, who are known for their bravery during the reign of terror of the French Revolution. During that time, the people of France demolished and radically redesigned their political structure, culminating in the beheading of their monarch, King Louis XVI. These Carmelite nuns of Compiègne were guillotined also after being deemed counter-revolutionaries and enemies of the revolution. They were promptly thrown out from the cloister and imprisoned after the newly established authorities learned that they were still performing their daily choirs and prayers. In fact, they were being faithful to their vocation in allegiance to Jesus Christ and to the Church. On the day of their execution, they remained even faithful to their dedication to the choir office and were heard chanting the Salve Regina, Te Deum, and the Veni Creator Spiritus as their names were called one by one by the executioner. Each in their turn knelt before their prioress, Blessed Teresa of St. Augustine, renewed their vows and solemnly asked permission to die. Astonishingly, within 10 days after the execution, the revolutionary leaders would themselves be executed, effectively bringing the end to the bloody reign of terror. Looking back at history through the eyes of faith, one can see how the tremendous sacrifice of these French Carmelite nuns played a vital role in bringing back peace to the country of France by being faithful to their vocation and to God even unto death. The blood that they shed became a fragrant offerings for their country. Their prayer life and heroic martyrdom helped defeat the forces of evil that led to countless what can we learn from these brave women of Carmel? I believe they are a model of fidelity and perseverance. They live their religious vocation till the very end, giving everything to God to seek the face of God even in the midst of terror and death. Being myself as a young religious, I believe that difficulties, challenges, crises, and other forms of hardship are encountered precisely to experience the reality of God in the totality of life. I believe that our motivation, desires, and intentions should be revisited, re-examined, and perhaps reformed so that when hardship come, we may remain steadfast and faithful to the beloved regardless of how much it may cost. All Christians must grow in the awareness that to lose one's life for the sake of Jesus is to ultimately gain eternal life. These martyrs powerfully demonstrate the gospel message. I therefore implore you to examine your own reason, desire, and intention, your motivation for following Christ. Let us pray, O Holy Lord, you have gave us the martyrs of Compian to sacrifice their earthly lives so as to bring peace and harmony in a troubled world. Through the example of their determined perseverance and desire to see your face, may we become steadfast in serving you even as we encounter many challenges and struggles. May we be willing to follow your will even when our own inclinations and tendencies seem to the other way. We ask this through Christ our Lord, together with the Holy Spirit who lives in you forever and ever. Amen. Blessed Teresa of St. Augustine and Companions, pray for us struggling to love God. Amen.